Hey everybody, welcome back to the best U.S. Mint News channel on YouTube. I'm Cinema Silver Stacker. Today's date is August 22, 2024, and in this video, we're going to be talking about U.S. Mint sales because while they're vital to numismatists, flippers, and collectors to determine value and demand. Yeah, that's right. But before any of that, if we're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to bazillion subs. It's a mighty big number. Not sure exactly what that number is, but it's got to be ginormous. That's what I'm thinking. Now, we're always live and never edited. See if you can catch when that happens. All right, over here to moneymetals.com. Looks like everything's flat today. Gold down $5.90 to $25.16.65. Silver down seven pennies to $29.72. Platinum down $7.30 to $9.73 even, Stephen. And palladium down $0.95 cents to $9.92.75. Dr. Copper down a penny to $4.19. And look at that. That's amazing. So, yeah, look at this. We got an in-stock American Silver Eagle whose premium is $7.59 for a quantity of 1 through 39. You're repaying $37.34. And they'll buy them back for $31. Even Stephen, never seen that before. Now, over here to the bullion sales at the United States Mint, their sales totals by month are updated every weekday by 5 p.m. And we know they, well, generally do it about twice per month. And, uh, yeah, so we're coming up here at the end of August relatively soon within a week or so and that's when i think we'll see some additional numbers for august added to that particular chart now over here to coinnews.net i'm at the very bottom for some reason let's go all the way to the top yeah some interesting things at this particular article um title of this article is u.s mint sales 2024 san francisco proof silver eagle bounces to 156,803 and that is kind of a a, a big deal um, and there's some other big deals going on here, too. But I think they're, well, it's just that foam on a root beer float, right? And then it settles, and then you get the real number, right? I think that's where we're at right here with this particular report. Uh, this is by Mike Gunzer, dated August 21st, 2024. That's just yesterday. And it is from coinnews.net. Now, it's got here on the picture a 2024 San Francisco minted American Silver Eagle. That's the proof version. And it looks like it's got that deep cameo action. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It says last week's lack. All right. Last week's lack of new releases from the United States Mint shifted collectors focus to more recent offerings like the 2024 San Francisco proof American Silver Eagle which led the mint sales for a second consecutive week. And you got to see these sales. They're kind of remarkable. But like I said, I, I think it's going to be like the uh, foam on a root beer float. You know, you got all that action. And then all of a sudden, after everything settles, you got like a half inch of root beer. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Now, it says here in the previous sales report, the Proof Silver Eagle debuted with a five-day starting total of 131, 131,680 coins, advanced by another 24,000 coins, through its first full week of sales, bringing the new total to 156,803. While that is remarkable, um, I don't, like I said, I don't believe that's going to hold up. Breaking down the numbers by option, um, the bulk sales are really where it's at, I think. Uh, sales included 123,883 coins, up 4,883 for the standalone option, and 32,727 coins, up 20,000 for the 40 coin bulk option. That's amazing. All right, that's huge. With sales of 823 units up 506. Yeah, and that actually made it on to the top 10. See, in this 10th spot right here, you'll see an additional 506 of the 40 coin bulk option have been added. And we know four times five is 20 right there. So it's gotta be 20,000 coins right off the bat. And how, um, and I've also uh, highlighted how there's silver, one, two, three, four silver products. Now three of them are from the general public and that that fourth one, then the 10th spot is from the bulk purchase folks. So um, I, th I still think we got only about 30% of the silver on here. And that fourth one, well, that's, it's really, people can't get there, right? They have to be an authorized bulk purchase uh, on the bulk purchase program to get that particular item. Now, number one spot, we did talk about that proof silver ego, that's San Francisco. Number two spot, the proof set. And I think that's really where the sales were this this week. We're in the proof, uh, clad proofs, all right? Number three is the P&D Celia Cruise Quarters, two roll sets, sold a 1,000. I think that's fluff also. I think that's going to go down big. Number four, the American Innovation Dollar Proof Set. I've got mine. Did you get yours? They're absolutely stunning. That Alabama Saturn 5 coin is 
stellar. Number five, you're looking at the 2024 Silver Proof set. Yeah, that's pricey. They didn't even sell a thousand of those, only 731. Number six spots, the 2024 American Women Quarters Proof set sold 712. Yeah, that's another clad proof I wanted to talk about. Number seven is the P Celia Cruz Quarters in a 100 coin bag sold 678 to 2,727. I don't think that's a real deal. And then we have the Number eight spot is the PD and the S. And that features that wonderful San Francisco business strike quarter of the Celia Cruz. Three roll sets sold 642 to 11,739. And when you compare and contrast that number, 11,739, with the other quarter issuances, issuances this year, it doesn't really hold up. Uh, it seems over the top. Number nine, uncirculated Morgan Silver Dollar. These are almost irrelevant, folks. Look at that. Only sold 635. That's the number nine spot. So with the amount that the United States Mint allocated for their product uh, totals, these are going to be around for a couple of years, these uncirculated Morgan and Peace dollars. Now it says in its latest report, the U.S. Mint published sales data for 480 numismatic products. The data revealed that 62 products outperformed their sales in the previous previous week compared to 98 in the prior report. So things are slowing down drastically at the United States Mint, as you can tell right there from those two numbers. Three products experienced week-over-week -week increases of more than a 1,000 units, and that was the same as the previous report. But I got to tell you, I don't think those numbers are going to hold. Ten products posted negative weekly sales, an increase from six in the previous report. Each reduction, however, was modest. Now, it says here, U.S. Mint sales, numismatic products, below our table showing the available Latest available sales for U.S. Mint numismatic products. The sales period covers from August 12th to August 18th. All right. It was just four days ago when it ended. Products with an asterisk, and there are some here that we're going to talk about, are no longer available or had no reported sales. Now, here we go with the commemoratives in 2024. Only two of them. That's the Greatest Generation Silver Dollar and the Harriet Tubman Gold Coin showed any signs of life. Um, it's just interesting as far as an increase. Now, obviously, there's 213, 90 of those, and so on and so forth, but they don't have that big percentage jump. Now, look at this. Yeah, it's uh, Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars from 2024. Those are the uncirculated. The Morgan at 157,000, the Peace Dollar at 151,000. And look at these sales. These are lackluster sales. It's really interesting to see the uh, just the lack of interest in these um Beautiful struck coins. I just, it's amazing. Now look at the Liberty and Britannia. I don't think people like to talk about this there very much because of what had happened on, uh, yeah, you know, sold out and then wasn't sold out and then it came back and then it wasn't. It's just, yeah, it's, that's, that's almost the, um, a, the poster child for what's wrong with the United States Mint, I think currently, um, is the Liberty and Britannia. Um, and you remember the COA issues with all the metals, they're calling them coins. Is that a Freudian slip where they really want to make them coins, just like we want them to make coins? But they, you know, they have to get legislative action to get that to happen. Now, here we go. Armed Forces Silver Medals. The Army is still taking them all to the woodshed. Yeah, look at that. Marines, 38. Army, 67. That's right. Going to keep on leading there. Going to go to the clad proof sets now. This is where the real action really happened, I think, this month. Uh, the 2024 clad proof set sold 2,347, almost a 1% increase. But look at this. The 2022 proof set has that asterisk, lost 15, almost at 400,000 even Steven. Wouldn't that be something if it lost 16, bringing us to 400,000 even Steven? I've never seen that before. Look at this. The American Innovation proof set, almost a 2% increase there, as well as a 2% increase on the American Women Quarters proof set. Look at this. Silver proof sets, not really much to speak about here. Um, not even the American Women Quarters, but look at this. Silver proof set from 2022 with the asterisk lost 12 on that one. So they must be doing some kind of um, uh, reconciliation or something with the books from 2022. Uh, try and explain that one away. I don't know. Uncirculated mint sets. Yeah, it's going to be a while, maybe a couple more months, at least six months, I would think, before we see the uncirculated mint set from 2023 become unavailable. And what's interesting is the 2022 well, that one's Gonzo, and the 2021 with the one-off with the Washington Crossing the Delaware Quarter is still available. And that was really the only way to get that in a clad or at least a business strike uh, from 2021 because the United States Mint did not have any of those Washington Crossing the Delaware in rolls or bags or anything of that nature. Bummer in the summer with that one. Now, here we go with the ornaments, and uh, I was going to say something about the ornaments. Oh, yeah, they dropped today. Today, all of the ornaments uh, are dropping, and I imagine next week uh, we're going to see these ornaments add an additional uh, five spots here to 2024 right here at the top, and we'll see what those sales are like. 
as well as the subscriptions. Now, check this out. Wow. Yeah. Oh, boy. Look at that. Had to highlight that one. That's the bulk, folks, right there. The 40 coins sold 506. They were at 317. That's almost a 160% increase. Now, folks, this has got to make you scratch your head as to why the bulk folks would load up on the American Silver Eagles from San Francisco that that hard. Um, and, and why not the W? Why not the West Point American Silver Eagle from 2024? Um, the this this bulk pack, right? Are there are there no, no longer uh, any more available? Is that what the deal is? Um, it's just it just begs the question, you know. It really makes you wonder uh, how many are left ultimately, and and why is it? it and is the United States Mint not selling enough of the bullion American Silver Eagles, so the bulk dealers have to go this route to sell them? I I don't know, but that is a remarkable number. I've never seen that before. Uh, in all the times we've been relaying this data to you. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Um, also, look at this. Proof American Silver Eagles from 2024. We haven't even reached 275,000 of those, folks. Yeah, look at this. Remember this? 2023, 436,000. Yeah. Look at this. 2022, almost 500,000. We're not even at 275, folks. That's remarkable. Look at this. Two-coin reverse proof set. Or no. Yeah, the two-coin... Uh, Silver Eagle, reverse proof set, yeah, lost one. Isn't that something? Uncirculated Silver Eagles, they sold 447. We now stand at 90,512. That's a really low number also. Did you get yours? Now, here we get to the gold coins. And we have seen gold, well, it's very popular. And it has been very popular for months now. We report on gold sales every single week. And each and every single week, we have seen an, an, just about an increase in each single category for these American uh, gold eagles. It's just remarkable uh, the, the, the pace at which these are selling and the interest that they cont continually have. That's remarkable. Uh, even the buffalo uh, has an increase, almost 3% there. That's remarkable. Now, what's not remarkable is the sales for, well, I'll show you here that in a second, for the uh, Native American dollar and the Kennedy half dollar. Now, these are the Missouri Innovation dollars. Look at that. That features uh, George Washington Carver. The 100-coin bag out of Denver sold 17. That's a 1% increase. And we have a, uh, well, three-quarter percent increase there for the 100-coin bag out of Philadelphia. So pr pretty solid numbers. Look at this, though. Somebody, two people actually scored the 25-coin roll set from Denver. And so I guess maybe another person or the same person scored the 100-coin bag out of Denver for that rocket coin, that Saturn V. That's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful coin. Uh, and I love it in a proof. I can't wait to see that in a reverse proof. Uh, so, yeah, pretty decent sales for Illinois as well. Um, and let's keep on keeping on. Let's go to Tennessee. Lost two of those. And I believe that was the Tennessee Valley Authority, the uh, electrical uh, grid that they have there lost two and let's keep on keeping on uh, New York Virginia New Hampshire South Carolina Maryland Massachusetts Connecticut Georgia New Jersey Pennsylvania Delaware and that's the inaugural and there we go look at this Native American not even a blip look at that just lackluster sales for the Native American dollar rolls as well as the Kennedy half dollars which begs the question is that it are there no longer any more 200 coin bag from Philadelphia available? I don't know. Makes you wonder. But look at this now. Here we uh, find ourselves at the end of the show, near the end of the show. And we're looking at the Celia Cruz quarters from 2024. And look at those numbers. That is remarkable. But look at this. We have 11,007. Compare that to the other ones that have been already on sale for months. Look at that, 12,000, 11,001. 10,004. So I think we're definitely over, way over. Look at this one. Almost 3,000 here for the 100 coin bag from Philly. 1,200 here for Mary Edwards Walker. 1,500 here and 1,800 there for Dr. Or Reverend Dr. Polly Murray. So I think they're going to revise these numbers downward uh, by a lot. Look at this. 4,000 for the two roll set. I don't think so. Look at this. 25, 27, 29, 35. Yeah, I don't think so. Not at all. Ah, yeah, that's about it. Let's go to those plus ones. Bam, this is Proverbs 23, 17, and 18. Let your heart not envy sinners, rather those who revere the Lord all the day. For it shall endure, and your hope shall not be cut off. And what I think that means is that we should envy the person who truly fears the Lord, learn from them, and emulate their deeds, maybe even their behaviors, right? Because only this is lasting. Wealth and sinful pleasure are but momentary. Now let's go over here to 99.9 KOI and Coin News Radio. This is Santana Brothers. 
and I don't even know what song it was. It could have been um, Latino blues. I'm not sure. Uh, blues Latino. Yep, there it is. I yeah. Who knew? <laughs> anyway, it's a really great album. Hope you dig it as much as I do. Been a great video. Thanks for hanging out this long. Stack her out.